in the previous video i discussed about the uh, control kinetic circuit closing coil uh, that was the closing circuit and here is the circuit breaker trip circuit so today in this video i will discuss about the trip circuit of the circuit breaker let's start suppose the circuit breaker is in service position so this is the circuit breaker service position so this is coming uh, here and it will check so when it will uh, trip when it will trip the breaker when the trip command will be issued so that is the purpose of this uh, trip circuit and first of all let's check the trip coil so here is the trip coil 52 tc this is the trip coil so our intention will be to trip uh, to energize this trip coil so that the contacts related to this trip coil that will that will be triggered and the circuit breaker will be tripped so to trip this to energize this uh, trip coil there are there are the parallel there are the parallel combinations okay so any one of the parallel path if it is activated then it will trip the circuit breaker that means it will energize the 52 tc coil and the circuit breaker will be tripped so here are the options suppose k2x so what is k2x so you can see this is the breaker in service position this it is coming like this and this is no contact so k2x is the no contact of k2 uh, coil what is that k2x here you can see k2x so this is the trip command this is the interposing relay so this will come from from this will come from uh, abt panel or dcs or plc so this uh, this trip command will will come uh, through this interposing relay so this is interposing relay circuit so uh, whenever the trip command uh, will be given from the remote in that case this k2 this k2 uh, this contact will be closed and and it will energize this k2x k2 is the contact multiplication uh, relay this is the auxiliary contact uh, multiplication relay of of this main uh, main interposing uh, relay circuit so whenever this k2x is energized that time this k2x contact will be closed and in that case if you notice it carefully this breaker is in service position then it is coming in this way then this contact will be closed then it will come in this path in this path so circuit breaker is now closed circuit breaker is now presently closed we want to trip that so that means 52a in no contact this is nc when the breaker is closed this is nc so the path is through this path is through so it will it will energize this trip coil of the circuit breaker so in that case the circuit breaker will be tripped at that time so this is uh, so this will uh, complete the circuit and the breaker will be tripped okay this is option one then there are other ways also if if the if the synchronization this is trip after synchronization so if there is the abt panel uh, this or uh, this auto bus transfer panel so after synchronization uh, this can be tripped okay this is uh, 50 bf so this path will follow when the circuit uh, bre breaker failure this is the circuit uh, breaker failure function so if this contact is closed in that case the breaker uh, will be tripped okay and this is 60 contact 60 and 27 under voltage 27 a b so this is another path okay synchronization fail if if the synchronization uh, fails then this path will be energized okay that is another uh, way also so this is the breaker when the breaker is in service position so these are the conditions so any one of the uh, condition is fulfilled then the circuit will be um, through uh, uh, through this uh, 52 uh, 52 tc trip coil of the circuit breaker and the breaker will be tripped automatically okay now there is another path when the, uh, the circuit breaker is in test position so this is test position that means this contact will be closed 
so break out in test position so this path is coming like this this is now closed and this is push button trip so uh, you are you are pressing the um, push button local push button um, so you are operating operating the breaker uh, locally so the breaker uh, will be kept in test position then you press the push button here then this path will throw and this uh, trip, um, circuit breaker trip coil will be energized and the breaker will be tripped so this is test path okay another option is that 86 86 relay this is the um, this is the lockout relay overall lockout relay so if this lockout relay is operated then this path will will be through so in that case also circuit breaker will be tripped okay so so there are some other options also to uh, uh, for, for this 86 lockout relay it is through 51 50 n by 2 that means phase over current this is ground fault 50 n by 2 with time delay um, uh, ground fault okay so uh, these are the these are the options and part of the circuit breaker trip circuit okay here is another part this is unit lockout relay unit lockout relay if it is operated then also this path will be this this path will be uh, through so in that case it will be tripped the circuit breaker will be tripped here 74 supervision uh, trip circuit supervision relay 74 and uh, 74 a and b contacts are also available through this trip circuit supervision relay this uh, circuit breaker may get tripped okay and with the help of the auxiliary contact uh, for the uh, from you no know, trip circuit supervision relay this 74x 30b so with the help of these auxiliary contacts this limit switch um, these are the indication circuit so these are the indicating led lamps uh, which are uh, which are um, mounted on the uh, flash mounted on the panel uh, panel door outside okay so this uh, so these are the these are the uh, circuits for for the closing circuit circuit breaker closing closing circuit indication circuit trip circuit supervision and this is trip circuit and this is the uh, this is the interposing relay circuit so this interposing relay circuit this uh, the purpose of this is, is to operate the circuit breaker to give the start or stop command from the remote that is dch or plc or maybe from abt automatic bus transfer final and here once again this k1 K1 is the closing uh, closing circuit. This is the uh, interposing relay uh, closing contact. So if that interposing relay operates, then this K1 K1 uh, will be this inner contact will be closed, and this K1x this is the contact multiplication relay of that interposing relay. Then K1x uh, will be energized, and this K1x contact will be uh, utilized here. It will use here in the in the closing circuit here you can see here this is the this is the close command circuit breaker close command similarly similarly for this for this k2x k2 means this is the uh, this is the trip this is the trip coil so uh, this k2x this k2x will be utilized here in this uh, trip circuit and also there is a there is a interlock here uh, here this is the uh, this is k1 yeah here when the circuit breaker is in service position and k2x is not operated this is nc k2x is not operated that time the circuit breaker can be closed so there is the interlock 